this not this the fighting the battle scenery play, play. you asked for it i created the blimp from fortnite in season two with fortnite's latest season two we got some changes to the map this is my favorite one the blimps the io blimps and today we are going to create one i can't wait this is the filling material. As clay can be quite heavy and solid, I looked for a way to get it pretty lightweight. So the toilet paper roll was my first choice. And we are starting mixing the clay with silver and black. We mix the coat, the coating for the toilet paper roll. And then we will work our way through the whole IO blimp. I can't wait to share you my technique in this video and I did this before with the shark from Fortnite as well. You may remember this video together with Meow Skulls, um, also one of my favorite builds. So we have the ground shape of the blimp ready, bringing in the texture, which in this case is this pattern, probably to make the foil of the blimp more durable. So. There are zeppelins and there are blimps. And there is one crucial difference between both of them. Well, blimps are basically like a giant balloon. Zeppelins have an internal metal framework, a skeleton that maintains its shape even when not filled with gas. And for blimps, this is not the case. Big advantage, they are way lighter big disadvantage, it's a little bit um, harder for them to withstand harsher weather conditions than for zeppelins. But nowadays I think there are only blimps in the air. I'm not really sure if zeppelins still are being built. I still remember this famous footage of the Hindenburg, the zeppelin which is exploding. So right now we are working on all the fins which we have. They all have the same size which makes it quite easy to create with a thin layer of silver clay. And we are adding some structure to the surface and we will paint this after oven hardening to bring in a little bit more details. And this was um, a funny co coincidence while using parts of the blueprint. I found out that I also could use these pieces to get a blueprint, to get an imprint and I used the very same technique for Doctor Strange in last week's video to get the pattern inside of his cape and this worked pretty well. Thanks all of you for adding more um, valuable information because Doctor Strange and the whole background story was quite new to me. Many of you wrote some further details, which I really enjoyed. And now that we finished the main wings of the blimp, we can add another color. This is silver, while the other darker one is stormy gray. And we can work on the back side. We have another wing. It's shaped. It has the same size than the topper wing but we have an entrance and an outline and some bombs and also this engine in the back side, this big one as well. And this is the lowest level of the blimp, which is underneath. We have some tents, someone camping there and we are ready to put this all into the oven. Freshly weighed, baked, waked wings, ray, work rings. So these are all the parts which we now need to assemble. I, well, we have seen many changes over the past months and years to the Fortnite map. Um, they all happened. The blimps are somehow special. 
We have different ones floating in the air and I really love that you are able to enter them, to get inside them because, well, they are somehow like a flying fortress. <laughs> So the back side is almost finished. We are attaching the side wings where the propellers will go. And then we have the engine in the back side. And we need some more clay for this to get the shape right. And also to attach the big engine and the smaller ones. I'm planning on doing another Fortnite video for next week. Probably, as you ask for it, the origin skin. A very interesting one, which, um, well, I really like. It's visually a very strong skin, probably the strongest, beside Doctor Strange, who is not really Fortnite. So I'd say the origin skin is the strongest one, which we got so far. And I'd like you to join and tell some background stories about the origin skin. Watch out for some posts over on Instagram at ClayClaim where I'm going to ask you in the next days, share my progress and um, yeah, you can be creative. Hmm. So we have this lower level part of the blimp. It's somehow complicated because you can go inside. I don't think I will create the inside, the internal parts as well. We have some landmarks, some important spots here, the cannons, for example, the shape, the outward ex um, appearance. Probably I'm also going to paint some of these parts. Well, we will see. So once you have found one of the blimps on the map, um, there are different ways in entering them. For my gameplay footage, the replays I used to just um, jump from the battle bus and fly right over to them. But you can also use the zip lines, which are used to attach the blimp to the ground. And um, this is probably the more common way to enter the blimp. We have some fences. I could have also gone with paper clips to create look through this look through effect. But I think with yellow, which is an important color coding for the IO. This is going to be the cannon in the front. We have two cannons in total underneath the blimp and on each of um, the wings to the side we have another flag and these are the propellers last clay part by the way ready to go to the oven okay we have six airships i think five or six in total we have one right over daily tilted canyon rocky one in the cave cavern six I think I missed one. I'm adding some of this silver paint to make them a little bit more shiny. And one is going underneath, the other one will go on top. And it creates this beautiful look. And as mentioned before, I'm using a pen to emphasize some of the parts to bring, bring in some more details, like these white lines on the top or also the darker parts on the wings, the back fin, for example, the yellow, which needs white paint underneath as a primer. Oh, I'm so dreaming of a yellow pen, which is strong enough to cover. And for the light effect, I'm using some red wool. And guys, look at that, I guess. That's it, the I.O. Blim from Fortnite in Chapter 2. Next, maybe we could create a tiny diorama, the blimp flying over a map piece. Leave it down in the comments. I'm happy to read your ideas. Have a beautiful weekend. Take good care.
Bye.